It's New Year's Eve, folks. The last day of this long, tumultuous year of 2021. A lot lost and a lot gained. Can anyone attest to that? I want to do something special for y'all tonight. My very last video of 2021. In this video, we're going to get my top 10 favorite celebrity homes over 2021. My top 10. My, fav my personal favorites. We got started on this journey at the beginning of the year, and of the nearly 400 houses, these, to me, are the best. And as I always say, this is the moment where I ask you for the type of support that doesn't cost you a dime. It's just simply the press of a button, the like button. Do it for me one more time for 2021. And subscribe if you haven't, so you can join me on this journey. I'll be right back with my top 10 celebrity houses for 2021. I'm Lam, the Real Estate Insider, and we're going to look at my top 10 favorite celebrity homes of the year of 2021. Y'all ready for that? We're going to go ahead and dive right into it. It's, been, it's a lot of them. It's a lot. It was very difficult trying to determine who was going to be where, but here we go. Number 10. Very difficult. I had to go with Miss Wop herself, Miss Cardi B, along with her husband, of course, Offset of the Migos. In 2019, they purchased this Sandy Springs, Georgia mansion for only $5.5 million. Can you believe that? This is what you get in Texas and Georgia for just a few million dollars. It spans over 22,000 square feet, has five bedrooms. Number nine. This tour was posted recently, the weekend. This year, this dude dropped $70 million say that again he dropped 70 million dollars on a house nine bedrooms it spans over 33,000 square feet and includes an indoor pool movie theater and a music studio it's located in bel-air that's why right in bel-air my number eight this is the home of a billionaire billionaire in kanye west <laughs> yay dropped 57.3 million on a 3,600 square foot house this year in Malibu. This 3,600 square foot home has four bedrooms, 4.5 baths, and is considered a work of art. Kanye also just paid four and a half million for a home across the street from his estranged wife, Kim Kardashian. There's a video on that, check it out. It's up there. Coming in at number seven, the boss, Rick Ross. This is the former home of boxing legend, Evander Holyfield. You won't believe this, but Ross only paid $5.8 million for this 108-room mansion from auction. Wow. 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 It's in Georgia. 54,000 square feet. Kanye just paid $57 million for 3,600 square feet. Ross paid $5.8 million for 54,000 square feet. On 235 acres. With a bowling alley, movie theater, massive banquet hall, 12 bedrooms, and 21 bathrooms. They also shot Coming to America 2 at this house. One of the cheapest so far, and so far the largest. Number six, still in Georgia, still in the South. The mega mansion formerly owned by billionaire Tyler Perry, now owned by future billionaire Steve Harvey, has 35,000 square feet and is located in the Buckhead area. He paid 15 mil for this one. The Gated Mansion has seven bedrooms and nine and a half bathrooms and uh, an amazing tennis court right there on top of that carport or whatever that is, garage. Very beautiful, very beautiful house. Though. It's like a resort out and back. All right, let's keep it going. Number five spot goes to boxing champion Floyd Mayweather. It's located in Vegas, West Side. He paid $10 million for this estate. It has 6,357 square feet, two guest houses, a pool house, a small vineyard, <laughs> that's crazy, and an underground garage. Another house that has an underground garage is the number four house. And this house is in La Jolla, California. It's number four. It's owned by Alicia Keys and Swiss Beats. It's called a Razor House. They paid $20.8 million for this futuristic home. This sleek and spacious 10,653 square foot mansion is said to be the inspiration behind Tony Stark's Malibu Lair in the Iron Man film franchise. 
six bedrooms, two of which are masters with a spectacular ocean view from end to end, floor to ceiling, curved glass windows can be seen all over this. It's crazy, all, this, all the glass, all the windows are crazy. That, that's a crazy house. I've, seen, I've never seen anything like that. But you didn't get the number one spot, but it, it got close, very close. So now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Say it with me, the nitty gritty. Down to the nitty gritty. Number three. Trevor Noah, he did a big in Bel Air. Trevor is a South African. He and his Caucasian woman at the time, Minka Kelly, moved into this home and then broke up right after. And then he put it on the market for $30 million. He paid $27 million for it, so he'll get a $3 million property if he gets what he's looking for. It's 11,000 square feet with six bedrooms, 11 tubs, and three stories. Beautiful home. Down to the last two. This run up spot belongs to. Drake. This mansion is in Canada, Toronto to be exact. Could very easily have taken a number one spot, but it just shy of number one based on my personal taste. Again, a reminder, as I have to do with some of the regular tours, this is based on my personal taste. It may be different from some of you, but it's my personal taste. I love his house though. It's 50,000 damn square feet, like a school. It has a full-size indoor basketball court. The master bedroom is about the size of Kanye's whole Malibu house at 3,200 square feet. <laughs> this work of art is worth $100 million and our number one spot. Y'all ready for this? My favorite celebrity mansion of 2021. Tell me I probably guessed it already. Don't hate. Don't hate it all. But I got to go with this Bel Air home owned by billionaires, the king and queen, and Beyonce and Jay-Z. I'm just... Look at the house. The pictures don't do it justice. There's just so many layers to this house. So many levels, so many layers, so many floors to this home that you can't even see because they're underground. The windows are bulletproof. It's 30,000 square feet. There's four pools on different levels. There's a helipad, eight bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, a 15 car garage, some underground, and much more. And the best views in all of LA. You can't do much better than that. That's my choice. They paid 88 million for this home. It's one, it's my, I think it's one of my favorite, based on this list, it's my favorite from 2021. But as far as houses in the world, this, this one takes the cake to me. But I want to hear what you think, too. I want to know what your choice is. Do you agree with that choice? Do you agree with these choices? Which ones do you disagree with? Who would you put as your top three? Put your responses in the comments below, and I might shout you out in a future video. Matter of fact, your top three or just your top number one of all the videos I've done, not even the ones I talked about here. Put in the comments whose house you like the best. My insiders, I can't tell you how truly I gotta get serious. I'm taking shades off. I gotta get serious. I wanna, I wanna speak directly to y'all. My insiders, I can't tell you how much I truly appreciate you for supporting me on this long, long journey. I started this in 2021. I haven't been here long, and as of New Year's Eve 2021, we're at 14,664 subscribers. That deserves a hand clap. And over 2.7 million views. That deserves a hand clap. A lot of success in a short amount of time and I couldn't have done it without you guys supporting and I really, I truly appreciate it. I appreciate the big supporters, the ones that act, that uh, interact with me in the comments, the negative comments, it just makes me better. I appreciate those too. You know, I'm not gonna delete them, I like them. Bring any comment, just be honest. Tell me what you think. If you feel like I did something wrong, great. I'm not gonna adjust to every comment as to how some people think I should do the channel, but I appreciate the interaction, the twins. <laughs> the twins, us. You guys are my insiders and I really appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to what's coming in the new year. Um, I'm expecting bigger and better things in 2022. I guarantee that. Again, thanks for supporting me, letting me be me. I'll see you in 2022. I'm Lamb, the Real Estate Insider. Peace out. It's the end of the weekend. 
But I still wanna turn up Yeah, I still wanna turn up All I want is to go again But you ain't picking your phone up Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day Let me take you away All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah Better nights, better days When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that I crave So I wanna 